It's happening everywhere, all at once. Wildfires turning cities into smoke-filled war zones. Floods swallowing entire villages. Hurricanes and heat waves that break records, then break them again the next year. The question is echoing across the world. Why are natural disasters getting worse? Are we just unlucky? Or is something bigger happening beneath the surface? Today, we're revealing what's really going on with data, science, and shocking truths the headlines often skip. Let's look at the numbers. In the 1980s, the world recorded around 240 disasters per year. Today? Surprised. That number has jumped to 400 to 500 per year. Just last year, in 2024, the U.S. faced $25 billion disasters. Libya suffered one of the deadliest floods in modern history. Wildfires in Canada burned over 17 million hectares, the most ever recorded. These aren't isolated events. They're part of a growing global pattern, and it's accelerating. At the heart of this crisis is one powerful force, climate change. But it's more than just the planet is getting warmer. Here's how it works. Warmer air holds more moisture, heavier rainfall, devastating floods. Hotter land dries out faster, more fuel, massive wildfires. Warmer oceans equals more energy, stronger hurricanes. Rising sea levels equals storm surges go farther inland. Think of the planet like a machine, and we've thrown it off balance. And now, it's overreacting. Let's be honest, we're not just victims of nature, we're also the trigger. We're building cities in flood zones, cutting down forests that used to absorb storms, covering the land in concrete, blocking water, trapping heat, and pumping over 36 billion tons of CO2 into the air every single year. It's like we're adding fuel to the fire and then acting surprised when things explode. Some say it only feels like there are more disasters because we see them more often. And they're partly right. Technology has made the world smaller. We get real-time updates from the Philippines, Brazil, or Turkey, disasters we might never have heard about 30 years ago. But the data doesn't lie. Yes, we're seeing more. But also, there actually are more. More intense, more costly, and more dangerous. This isn't just about coastal cities or developing countries. No place is untouched. Canada is choking in wildfire smoke. 
Germany faced deadly flash floods in 2021. Japan has typhoons going stronger every year. And in the U.S., places like California, Florida, and Texas now brace for annual disasters like clockwork. The cost? Over $2.5 trillion in economic losses in the last two decades. Tens of millions displaced. Thousands of lives lost. Often, the poorest hit the hardest. Now here's the part where you expect a happy ending. But the truth is, there isn't one yet. Still, there is hope. Countries like the Netherlands are designing floating neighborhoods. Bangladesh is building nature-based flood defenses. Costa Rica runs almost entirely on renewables. Cities like Tokyo and New York are rethinking how they build, plant, and prepare. But this isn't just about governments. It's about us what we buy, how we vote, and how aware we choose to be. The earth is speaking, and every disaster is a message. Slow down, change course, or face the consequences. If you made it this far, you're not just curious, you care. So let's keep learning. Let's keep asking why and what we can do about it. Check out our other videos in the Top Countries series and subscribe for more stories that dig deeper. This is more than content. This is a wake-up call.